Hello class! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to write the equation of the parabola in general form that satisfies the given conditions. So number one, the vertex is at negative 2, 3 and its focus is at negative 4, 3. So dito guys, para makuha natin yung equation ng ating parabola, Ang suggestion ko dito is i-plot nyo muna yung ating mga given sa ating Cartesian plane para ma-visualize natin yung ating parabola. So, una, plot natin si vertex which is negative 2, 3 na makikita dito sa ating quadrant 2. Then, pangalawa is yung focus we have negative 4, 3. So, that is negative 4, then 3, nandito yan sa may bandang left side ng ating vertex. So dito guys, um, gamit yung vertex and yung ating focus. Since si focus is nasa left side ng ating vertex, meaning ang opening ng ating parabola is open to the left. Okay? Kung natatandaan nyo guys, Kung nasaan si focus, dun, magbe, dun magbe-bend yung ating parabola. So, therefore, ang gagamitin nating uh, equation is yung y minus k square equals 4p times the quantity of x minus h. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, wala na tayo masyadong problema since yung h and k is given na. Yun yung ating vertex. Ang, ang nawawala na lang dito guys is yung ating p. Okay, so paano ba natin masasolve si p? So using the focus, so given yung ating focus guys, which is uh, negative 4, 3. So using this equation, ang formula ng ating focus is equal to h plus p, kama k. Okay, so kung saan yung ating h plus p correspond dun sa value ng ating negative 4. So meaning, pwede nating i-equate si h plus p to negative 4. Okay, so since given naman si h which is negative 2, masasolve natin yung value ni p gamit itong formula na to. Okay, so solving for P, we have P equals negative 4 plus 2. So, ang P natin is equal to negative 2. Okay, so meron na tayong H, meron na din tayong K, then at the same time, meron na tayong P. So, makukuha na natin yung standard form ng ating parabola. So, that is Y minus K. So, ang K natin dito is positive 3 square equals 4p ang p natin is negative 2 times x minus h which is negative 2 so simplify natin yung ating standard form we have y minus 3 square equals so this 4 times negative 2 this is negative 8 times the quantity of x, then we have two negatives, so that is plus 2. So, ito na ngayon yung ating standard form. Okay? Yun nga lang, based dun sa ating uh, direction, ang pinapahanap is yung general form ng ating equation. So, i -re write natin ngayon itong standard form to general form. Ang general form ng ating uh, parabola is yung right side natin dapat 0. Okay? So, paano natin to i-rewrite? -re -re ang first step natin guys is we need to expand y minus 3 square. So, by squaring of binomial, so that is equivalent to y square minus 6y plus 9. Okay? Equals, distribute natin si negative 8, that is negative 8x minus 16. Okay? 
So again, ang general form ng ating equation dapat 0 yung right side. So meaning, lilipat natin yung ating binomial sa right side sa left side. So that is y square. So negative 8x magiging positive 8x. Followed by ng ating negative 6y plus 9. So yung negative 16 magiging positive 16 equals 0. So, combining like terms, so ang general form natin is y square plus 8x minus 6y plus 25 equals 0. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer or yung ating general form. Nakuha ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. The vertex is at 3, negative 5. And the directrix is y plus 8 equals 0. So, may dalawa tayong given. Una yung vertex, which is 3, negative 5. So, dito ma-identify na kaagad natin yung h, which is 3. And yung k natin is negative 5. Okay? Then, pangalawa is yung ating directrix. So, ang directrix natin is y plus 8 equals 0. So, ang ating directrix is y equals negative 8. So, para malaman natin guys kung ano bang equation yung gagamitin natin, is una, i-plot muna natin yung mga given para ma-visualize natin ano bang klaseng parabola meron tayo. Okay? So, plot natin si 3, negative 5. So, nandito siya banda sa ating quadrant 4. 3, negative 5. Then, yung ating directrix is makikita kay y equals negative 8. So, ang y negative 8 natin nandito sa may bandang baba. So, kung i-graph natin si directrix, ito siya ngayon. Okay? Okay. So, alam naman natin guys na yung ating parabola is never touches sa our uh, directrix. So, meaning, yung opening ng ating parabola dito guys is opens upward. Okay? So, again, para natin nalaman na opens upward ng ating parabola. So, since hindi makakada... Hindi, si parabola is hindi didikit kay directrix kahit na anong mangyari. So, wala tayong ibang choice kung hindi papunta tayo sa taas. Okay? So, therefore, ang gagamitin nating formula is yung x minus h square equals 4p times y minus k. Okay? So, again, uh, hindi na tayo masyado mahihirapan since given na si H and K, ang problema na lang natin is si P. So, to solve for P, gagamitin natin si directrix. Okay? So, ang directrix natin dito is Y equals negative 8. Then, ang formula ng ating directrix sa gantong case is Y equals K minus P. Okay, so to solve for P, magagamit natin si directrix. Oh wait, so ang directrix natin again, we have Y equals negative 8. So to solve for P, magagamit natin si directrix. So that is negative 8 equals K. Ang value ng K natin is negative 5 minus P. Okay, so solving for P, lipat lang natin to dito. Then, ito naman dyan. So, that is uh, positive P equals negative 5 plus 8, which is equal to positive 3. Okay, so therefore, uh, pwede na natin ngayon makuha yung ating standard form. Ang H and K natin is 3, negative 5. So, we have x minus h, which is 3, square equals 4p, so ang p natin is positive 3, times y minus k, which is negative 5. So, simplify natin to guys. 
So that is x minus 3 square equals 4 times 3, that is 12, times y. So we have two negatives, we have positive 5. So ito na ngayon yung ating uh, standard form or yung tinatawag natin vertex form ng ating parabola. So ngayon, irerewrite natin to to general form since yun yung pinapahanap sa ating directions. Okay? So una, we need to expand uh, expand x minus 3 so that is x square minus 6x plus 9. Equals, distribute natin to. So, that is 12y plus 60. So, ang general form guys, dapat yung right side natin is equal to 0. So, ililipat lang natin to sa left side. So, that is x square minus 6x. Si 12y magiging negative 12y plus 9. Then, si 60 magiging negative 60 equal to 0. Then, combine lang natin to. So, that is x square minus 6x minus 12y. Then, 9 minus 60, that is negative 51 equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. The general form of the equation of the parabola. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!